86% of the vaccines we received from the federal government are now administered into people's arms. And uh, we're working on that, of course, every day. But uh, we had a bit of a running head start. We took very seriously our role as a pilot state when we were selected in September. We rehearsed uh, all the logistics. Uh, we practiced essentially bringing uh, pre-vaccination shipments into our distribution, dealing with all the 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 obstacles of geography of getting small amounts of vaccine out to lots of communities in the state uh, and again i want to just thank our community leaders local public health department of health there have been so many people involved in the logistics and supply chain uh, to, to drive that forward uh, we've had great success and we've really focused on vaccinating uh, the most vulnerable uh, and done a great job of getting uh, those folks in our long-term care uh, skilled nursing vaccinated uh, we're, we're seeing that again uh, in lower hospitalizations we're seeing deaths drop we had five days in a row this week with zero deaths and so the vaccination uh, has been fantastic and for those that are that might still get an infection we've been really focused on monoclonal antibodies and getting infusions to people because again that has been a way for us to reduce death and hospitalizations 